Welcome everyone, we're back. It is another very special edition of the GG Millions, episode 31 of season 2023. We got a, we got a legendary guest as usual on the show. My man, Roman, I'm gonna pronounce his last name. It's a little hard for me, but Herebets, we'll go with that. And uh, Roman, how are you? Hey, I'm fine. Thank you, thank you, Jeff, for, for having me here. I'm excited for doing my first commentary, so uh, let's see how it goes. It'll be for well, sure. Listen, I know it's your, you say it's your first commentary, but it is a not a stranger to the show. You've been on, the, the you played many times. You actually have a $900,000 score plus on here. I think you said a few months back, getting third place to one of the larger ones. So it is a, it's an honor to have you. I know you're a great player and we have a lot of mutual contacts and friends. Nice to actually get to, to chat with you. Thank you for making the time today. And we are going to be watching some of the, the biggest and brightest stars as usual on the GG Million. You can take a look at the leaderboard for the GG Million ranking right now. David Yan hovering just under 2 million. He is in the lead currently. Actually just confirmed with him. He'll be a guest on the show in a couple of weeks. So that's going to be exciting. Again, if he's available since he makes up almost every final table. Today, a big prize pool, 1,760,000 up for grabs in the total purse as we see the lion's share gonna come to first, 357 up top, ninth gonna take $51,000. So we have got a, we have got, we have got a, a exciting show. I mean, the, the lineups are stacked. I feel like it's every week. I say the same thing, but today, again, it's just some of the biggest, brightest stars. And you do play this tournament frequently, so I, I'm very curious on some. I, I guess you might not want to give away too much of your, your exact thoughts on the players since you battle with them, but there's a uh, Arthur Mortarizian who is at 136 big blinds. This is quite a lead. As you see second, Pablo Silva, another regular 53, and all the way down to 16 blinds. So this is going to be an interesting dynamic. Uh, Victor Wilanowski also there, and David Peters. So again, a lot of big names and some of the other players very experienced. Who, who do you have the most experience playing with here as we dive into the action? <clears throat> I think, uh, to be honest, probably with, with Arthur Martirazian uh, and then probably Pablo Silva as well. He, we played a lot of poker together, so we bought a lot of high stakes and, and, and everything. So I'm, I'm quite excited. There's a lot of very good players, not really any recreationals. There's maybe one or two names which I'm not 100% sure to know what, what kind of game they are having or how, how good they are playing but uh yeah seven eight eight guys of twos are really really good players don't really see any any recreationals uh i think everyone is most likely a pro uh so i'm i'm quite excited to see how this is gonna go you already see very very interesting first hand with between arthur and pablo this could already be for all the chips so let's see how is this this gonna develop you, you you're right you say that and the fact they are one and two super interesting arthur with a massive lead he flops pretty big with an over and the open-ended but pablo at the back door straight draw and or he had a gut shot and back door flush draw now does pick up a massive card here right he gets a i mean you can't really hit a more dialed in card than this to bring draw but now i mean the pricing are to really put on a lot of pressure i mean wow what do you do here roman with the with your pablo i mean you have mm -hmm. such a comfortable second place stack i mean this is a really tough one but to be honest i wouldn't be surprised if you just show it all in here or just, wow. just calls i mean that was also a pretty quick call uh wow and yeah and i was even expecting it maybe Pablo's going to lead something, but... Wow, I love the check here, because the diamonds miss, you know, yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. the misses, and, like, you, you you just, you look like maybe you have, like, a ja ace-jack, or, you know, you would just flat, right? Ace-jack suited it, all the ace-jacks in the big blind, and he is, he's going to get it. He is going to oh, get the money here. I mean, wow. There's no way he folds, right? What is it, 8-10? No, is no. he's never the beat folding. Thing. He's not folding, and this is an unbelievable start to the show. I mean, what a well-played hand from the Brazilian. And as always, we have a Brazilian, we have an Austrian at the table, and Arthur is going to shell over a lot of chips as he had a massive lead, but now Pablo is your chip leader. So we we, we got to do red or black. We got to play a little, a little game for the audience so they get the 50 or 100 chance with you and I, and then we can do a dinner. So I'll let you start with – things change. That changed a lot, the, the dynamic of the, this yeah. final table. We'll uh, let you choose red or black to start. All right, I'm going to take a red one. Red, so okay, I have black. Then you get to choose if you get first or second and third pick. And we'll let this play out here as this is going to be a 
Well, actually, I don't know. We'll get to see a flop here. This is going to be a probably pretty big raise. But red or black, and he's just going to shove. So that actually will just work, right? It should take that down. Um, yeah, so uh, Roman, tell me, and how many, when you play this tournament, you said you've satellite in, what are the best satellite options for those at home? Because it is, you know, you obviously buy in direct as well, but you have said you've gotten in for cheap. Pretty sick to take like a hundred or a thousand dollar satellite to nine hundred thousand dollar score, which you've had on here for nine hundred K plus. But what is, what are the best satellites for this tournament in the current landscape that you see to play? I mean, they're yeah. having, uh, uh, 1,000 buy-in into the 10,000, and I think they are running uh, two satellites every Sunday, uh, which is, uh, I think, six seats and 10 seats or something around this. Uh, yeah. So quite, like, pretty good. And then they are having a bunch of other ones, which are mostly around two seats or three seats, and then there's some higher buy-in, but mostly around, like, two to three seats. And I, I don't find this, like, somehow particularly attractive because they are very reggae very often, so... Uh, nothing extremely special, but but they are running, you know. But those, uh, yeah. I would say, those uh, seven to or six to ten seats, they are pretty good very often. So those are definitely those which I love to go for. That I can't get. That was, I mean, that the that was just a five million, five and a half million chip pot on the first hand of the suit. I don't. We've never seen that. I've never seen that on the first hand of the show to play for the chip lead for all of it. Like that was a pretty crazy hand. And, you know, tell me about Arthur and his style. Like you, you weren't surprised to see him unload the clip in that particular spot and that with that hand. But what I mean, well, how does this guy play? Because he does seem to have all the chips. And I believe he has seven titles on the GG million. He has four, one, mm -hmm. four and even two in season 2023. 20, so seven titles, definitely the most. And the guy's very capable. What, what is your experience playing with him? Yeah, I mean, Arthur is- a red is, flop, uh, by the way. Red flop. So that means you said- oh, that means me. You get it, right? right? Yeah, I got, I, got, I got it right, yeah. So you get, uh, we'll, we'll, you get the, we'll, we'll hold that thought. Tell me about Arthur. Tell me about Arthur and then we'll start, we'll start drafting. All right, all right. I mean, Arthur is a really, really good player. You know, he knows- when to play aggressive and play really aggressive when to on the other hand chill down where to play a bit more passive you know let it go but you know arthur is not afraid he's uh when he has a good feeling when he understands like poker extremely well he's obviously exploiting so many people he, he knows gto very well too so he, he just knows poker so well and he's uh i don't know since when he's uh started playing poker but he's in in the poker scene like for so long and i think he's only for like i think he's like one year older than me but like he has been in uh in poker forever basically so he's like a really really good player and he just knows you know where to put the gas on and when to chill so uh and yeah i, I think this was like a really good example where you know he just it's if, if pablo doesn't have a straight it's just super hard for him to call the river with so uh yeah, it was already already massive pot in the first hand, and uh, it was unlucky for for Arthur that Pablo hit the river. Otherwise, uh, he would have been already in, in in very good spot. Yeah, I mean that was a crazy card too, right? The that exact card not bringing the flush, the the fact that it, how it ran out was was pretty pretty perfect for Pablo. And you will get to choose: do you want first pick or do you want to take second and third? Uh. Mm. You can get a first one. I don't mind. Okay, so I'll take Pablo Silva, and then you get to choose. Now you get the second and third, and then I then we alternate all the way through. So now you get two two players right now. Okay, so I will get uh, Arthur, and I will probably get I will get Victor. Mm. Victor Malinowski. Nice. All right, good pick. I, yeah, Victor and Dave, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad about David Peters, though, at the next slot. He's also just an unreal player and a guy that we are going to be happy to have. So, all right, so I get David Peters, and now you get to you go again. So, I will get, I think I will get Ilya. What what flag is that? I can't really, it's <clears throat> almost. It, it's Belarusian. I'm not really sure where, if Ilya is Belarusian, but he's, uh, I don't know if he's Belarusian or Russian or, or, or something in those regions. Uh, I guess there's... Oh, no, there's a Russian flag. Arthur has it, so I, I, I guess he might be Belarusian. Yeah, I, I think I, I played with him on, on, on other sites as well. He's, he's a pretty good player, too. Kind of uh, uh, 
quite known maybe not 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 to like uh some players who uh maybe not to the audience but he's a, he's a he's a high stakes player pretty good player so he's definitely one of the players who uh can be playing well at this table as well for sure all right well i'll go with space 411 definitely knows his way around see him a lot deep in these final tables and and pretty good results so i'm going to i'm going to take the Believe Russian there, and you get another pick. All right, then I will go with uh, Super Solid, who's gonna. I don't. I have no, not really a lot of information about this player, but uh, saw him playing a little bit, but but don't really have a lot of info on him to be honest. All right, I'll take a to catch you to catch you the guy in Austria. Okay. I just, Austria is one of the. They're just tough, man. I just if you're from there, I give you already you're at a head start in terms of poker knowledge prowess. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that that player right there. So we got who is there one left? Is it you just you get one there's one left, right? You'll get five. Yeah, I think get... this uh uh G I'm not sure what's his first name, but yeah, Jakob Jakobish I think it's his it's his surname. Mm -hmm. Uh so okay, so I have two Russians. <laughs> yes, you, you have, got, uh... you got you have a little you got, we, we have good teams, and the audience at home is going to sweat $50 GG ticket if they win from you. It'll be, a, I believe, a GG cash ticket. And if it's from my players that I drafted, it'll be a $100 tournament GG ticket. So that, that's what we're playing for. We're going to have the hands-up promo as usual on YouTube. You guys can guess the winning hand. You might as well put it in and guess. What do you think today? Give me your winning hand. The, the actual card combination. It's six of hearts, six of spades, You know, ace of club, eight of spade, whatever, as we see here on the board. Give me your exact suits and combination you think is going to win today. There's a progressive jackpot available. I think I'm going to go with jacking clubs and eight in spades. Jack and clubs, eight and spades. All right, I'm going to go ace of club, eight of spades, just because, I don't know, it just spoke to me. I see it straight on the screen right here. I just think that's going to be my guess. Eight of club, eight of spades. You have your guess. If you fill it in, if you actually click on the YouTube link in the chat and you go there and you submit it, you are, we will actually be eligible to win the jackpot. It is a progressive. It has hit once, so I think it has reset. And we are now in a spot where we are going to pick up the action on the jack. Deuce king, three club, ace queen, Tough hand to play out of position here on this board. An ace eight with the ace of club. Roman, does he get frisky? Does he just call? There's ICM. Do you get what, what do you like here? I think I like calling. He has like uh, super good visibility from with his hand. You know, icing clubs is so you can just easily call, keep going. For for Victor, it would have been a bit more difficult, but now he brings the 10, so now, now he he can be playing a bit more aggressive again. It's basically has the nuts, uh, effective nuts. Obviously, straight speed. Uh, sorry, flashes beat him. So, uh, it's not it's not it's not very easy to to play this way. But I I think calling, uh, in the big blind is is the play to go again. Yeah, I'm just looking at who. Yeah, this has actually got super interesting because your plan, if you have the ace eight, this is now not gone so well you kind of have a you're you're, you're thinking you're, you're in good shape right you got the nut blocker you can hit the club obviously and feel and have the nuts and then if you don't you might be able to still bluff or win but now you got a player kind of the spr is less than one and here you are on the river and sort of uh, you might not even get a chance to bluff right it, it, it wouldn't work it does, i don't think there's a way he's going to win this pot but let's see what victor goes with i him. mean uh, victor could easily induce him with some small sizing uh Jakob surely can jam on him with the ace blocker obviously i don't think he's gonna find a hero call in this situation but uh <clears throat> if, he, if he if he induces i think there might be a chance that uh that he could just jam all in but uh it didn't happen obviously and, and what are the considerations there from Victor when he shoves versus to induce? Because, like, there's specific hands he target with the induce like that, but also the flat, the fact that he unblocks all pairs there, is that probably the reason he goes? He just thinks it's likely his opponent has a top pair or some kind of two-pair combination he's hoping to get called by? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, there's uh, the big blank and uh, shoves, like, hands which can not win but they have a good blockers right like a queen in clubs or racing clubs which is probably one of the best hands to shuffle with but uh the question is if the opponent is gonna go thin enough for value with like two pairs and 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 and, and hands like that 
so it can go both way. You know, he he doesn't block any uh, any value hands in terms of two pairs or like top pairs and stuff. So he can even get like here calls with like mm, top pair or like some second pair with like blocker. Or so I think it it can really go both way. You can go all in or or, or bet small. I mean, checking is obviously an option too, but. Uh, uh, it just depends how uh, how you perceive your player if he's gonna bluff enough. If you if you're just gonna use the small sizing. Yeah, very interesting. Again, these these players and at this level, they they really understand where they're at, what they're representing, what their players are likely holding, and uh, you see Pablo get away there, just not interested anymore. And Ilya does continue there, even with the ace coming, just just decides that got a range advantage and wants to. Sort of bet with likely the best hand protect. Matty Ice in the building. What's up, Matt Staples? Absolute crusher. Good to see you, my friend. And we have got some familiar faces. Let us know where you're watching from in the world. Again, Roman joining us here, who has taken third for over 900K in one of these and very accomplished player himself, a student of the game. And what's your next live stop? Are you going to go travel around here, use some of this booth magic? What, are you going to Bahamas, the win? Are you stay in Europe? What's your, what's your plans coming up? Uh, I'm not sure yet. To be honest, I was trying to qualify for Bahamas a few times, but I I, I fired so many so many bullets in those uh, on live uh, GG how how they how they call it. I'm not sure. You play the online day one and day two. You you are having in the money. I think it was yeah. like in Bahamas. I didn't didn't reach to to qualify yet, so I might still try once or twice if they still have any flights left. But. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna go for Bahamas. Maybe probably not if I'm not gonna qualify. And I'm planning to go for the WPT in, in Vegas in December for the big one. That that's yep. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be very attractive. So I'm quite excited for that. Nice. Yeah, it seems like you know they're, they're, you can do both, but it's sort of it's one of the other is is sort of a lot of people are doing, especially if they're located in LA or Vegas or. South Florida or different parts, it's uh, it's it's a tough call. I guess in theory you could come and hit the tail end, maybe make the the main over there. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the Bahamas the whole time. I can't wait. And I gotta ask you about Game of Gold. What are your thoughts? Have you seen it? Have you watched all the episodes? Any of it? I did watch the first episode. I think it's it's quite interesting. I I liked it from like very interactive point of view. I think it's it has a lot to gain. There's not a lot of other uh shows like this uh and i i, I kind of liked it i think i think it's a it's a pretty good show which has a lot of potential um uh, and you know people people want to watch poker people want to be entertained so it's a little bit different than watching for example you know cards up kind of a little bit of a classic but i think they are uh gg is doing a, a good job in in having this show and and bringing up a lot of special people and a lot of special special guests faces really really famous players yeah so I, I i like it i think it's a it's a very good good thing what they're doing yeah no it's it's pretty incredible the production value is amazing and and i actually saw the i watched the four bless you and i didn't i haven't seen the last i think there's two now out at least the five and i think six just came out but i i saw some of the previews highlights for the for the uh, upcoming ones. And it looks like it went from like kind of fun and the team thing to like, now it's like serious, you know, cause only one person wins yeah. 456, right? And it's like, you know, like you can have friends and know people and whether you're a pro or sort of up and coming, like it's a lot of money, right? And I mean, it really, you turn that that switch into like the killer squid game survivor type dynamic. And, and you know, it's a lot of money. It's like a half million dollars you're playing for, right? So it's, uh, you can definitely, it can get interesting fast. As an interesting river card here, ace queen was, in good position and now all of a sudden that hand just I, this is to me the hardest this hand gives me nightmares ace queen offsuit and just like i have so many horror <laughs> stories with that i feel like i had behind whatever and now he's gonna go ahead and bet he does have a very key card here do you like this i i, I really like the bet on the river uh was even thinking if he could got a bit a bit smaller but i like it that he's not he's not commenting all the chips you know you you, you target Bunch of bunch of key hands like pocket eights, pocket sevens, which you could probably fold out already for the small sizing. Wow. But Pablo, Pablo. That doesn't is believe him. World class, man. The Brazilian, the Brazilian just says, "Hey, hey, that's the that's the classic matchup: Brazil, Austria. The two. I, I get those are my powerhouse countries in poker right now. I feel like Brazil, like it was like the most improved in the last decade. Like kind of was like you know splashy, fun, weren't great now." 
I feel like the representation of Brazil quality has really gotten improved, and we see that at the GG Million Final Table. I think think weekly. I'd say 95% we see at Brazil, and maybe 99% we see Austrian. Sometimes we see four or five Austrian flags at the final table uh, today, a bit less represented. And, and Victor Malinowski also has one of the more impressive records in the GG Millions in terms of caches and final tables. And Archer, I believe, has seven titles uh, that we're looking at what I think let me just double check my notes here Victor I believe has let's see one win three wins yeah I think three wins also Pablo Silva has a win yeah very interesting hand we're with, with, <laughs> with five big lines seven eight so suited basically very little ICM I think this might be a call uh, for five big blinds, yeah, yeah, the risk premium, right? A... Risk premium, so the the lowest. He doesn't have to worry about about going yeah. out. He's the shortest, and now he is in a bit of trouble. Eighty six percent to the river. Not going to be a seven eight or a nine. Would not have been good. Oh. With the queen, would have made a straight. So yeah, that is GG Arthur going to go ahead and rip it in, takes it down, and he is good game. Bored. Second stack, and this is a very interesting dynamic. I mean, we're, we are seeing two huge stacks early on. Blinds are still pretty reasonable, and they have such a lead. There are a lot of kind of shorter, you know, 20 blind stacks, even sub, as we will get to see these two battle it out. I mean, Pablo and Arthur are in such a commanding position. Who do, who do you think has the toughest seat today in the, in the current landscape? Who, who's, who would you not want to be right now out of the, the eight players here? <clears throat> Uh, it's hard to say. I think David Peters definitely didn't have, doesn't have the best seat. Yeah. Uh, Pablo is very aggressive right now. He's uh, he's having a cheap lead, so he's gonna put a lot of pressure. And and David, you know, he just has to understand the ICM. He's a very good player, and he he knows that he needs to tighten up a little bit when he has a few cheap leaders, especially who has position on him. All right, I did just get a tweet out as well, guys. If you want to get a retweet, it is a $50 cash giveaway that is on my Twitter, Jeff Gross Poker. I'll put a link here shortly, and you guys are eligible for that. So we got hands up promo. That's a jackpot. Guess the winning hand today. That's available. We got $50 or $100. We've got, which is going to be based on one of Roman's players or mine that are winning from the draft. And then we also have a tweet for $50. So three giveaways as usual. Good luck to everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And Hit that thumbs up. That will be part of the giveaway for the 50 or 100 at the end of the stream. If you're having a good time, please click that. And there it is. GG on Q putting up the hands up in the in the thing. I gotta hit my thumb. Gotta hit the thumbs up, Roman. Are you even thumbs up right now? You gotta hit the thumbs up in the chat. We've got we have got a very special. So we can't. I mean, that's all right. I can't tell people to hit the thumbs up if we're not doing it. I just hit it myself. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Yeah. This is, it Hear the tempo voice. I didn't do it myself yet since I'm not on my computer, so I need to log in and let's try to do that. Pablo Silva gonna hear from Super Solid. Just goes for the jam. Uh, Ace King suited, maybe three bet. Ace King off jam there, possibly a little little nuance, but it is a rip in and Super Solid does pick up important chips and. Going to have a bit of a tough situation here. Eight-handed, opening nine, certainly. Going to be opening, and he's going to have some adversity in the big blinds here. David Peters with a very strong holding Queens. What about any at home audience? What do you guys think? Do you like Game of Gold there? Are we loving it, liking it? Let me know how you feel about it. I'm got my man Dana Zach in the chat. A lot of familiar faces. A lot of familiar faces, and he is gonna rip it here. Wow, goes yeah. for the rip. My stuff fault for super solid, but I think he's probably at least I think he should be end up folding. But it's not a very easy spot. Pocket nines, pocket tens are probably two hands which are always very tricky to play in these positions. Pocket nines, especially. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, what's what's he there. thinking? Would David Peters ever shove like a play a low pair like this for up the stack depth in situation? Would he ever jam like fives through sevens or something or th fours just to like take it down and force folds from a few bigger pairs? Or do you think he's just saying right now I'm either four to one or flipping? Yeah, I I, I don't I don't think he he he's shoving uh, lower pairs to be honest. At least in 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 term of ICM, I I don't think he should do that. And right. uh, good fold with pocket nines there. So he's he's mostly. That's the problem with pocket nines. He's uh, if he has some suited ace -ax, he's he's this is the only hand which he's like beating a few times. But then uh, on the other side, he's very often just flipping or he's behind. So uh, and, and good what, fault. What's what's the what's the reasoning for David Peters to shove there versus three bet induce or is it just the ICM and maybe he he, he wants to get a or or cooler get him in there make him you know if he has jacks or something or tens he has to call or ace king like what, what, why why not just raise big and not all i mean uh i think it's an option as well uh i don't know how is david peters exactly playing his big blind strategy i would probably having have more like uh three bet mm, non all ins uh just i can have like more polar range but he's he's probably hoping that he's maybe gonna get get called by by stuff like this, you know, ace queen or or pocket nines, uh, pocket tens, and like kind of cooler them. Uh, so, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess that's the reasoning. Also, here, interesting whether he's going to re-raise or just call such a pretty hand, and also realizing that the the big blind construction, the chip leader, going to be wide. So he does just go for the the jam. You know, I think that that makes more sense. Calling, you, you're going to get some favor. You're going to get some good situations, but you're also going to run the risk of again a player that can play well post flop, not necessarily bluff it off to you, and, and maybe make you fold when you have the best hand. So I think that 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 made a lot of sense. Are you surprised there? Or do you think that's standard for for David? Do you think he might call with that that holding? Or is that just a limp jam? I, th I think, in my opinion, I would probably just go with a call. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you, you fold out a lot of uh, dominated hands, like Pablo had like queen five, so probably doesn't uh, accomplish too much. You know, if he has ace queen or, or ace jack, like you're going to get stacked anyway. But on the other side, you just, uh, just take it down right away. Uh, so some people can argue with that. Uh, actually, pretty nice fold with Victor with King Queen off right away versus Arthur. Didn't even think about it. Yeah. So uh, I would probably go with a call, but you know, Pablo playing out of position versus uh, versus him, it's it's not easy. But you have a good hand, which is playing quite straightforward. So I would probably go with a call there. Yeah, and this is a tough spot. David knows that Archer is going to open so wide as one of the, you know, basically effectively a chip leader, right? With that, that stacked up, like he, him and Pablo are the table captains. So this is a pretty big cooler and Archer just seems unfair. How is this man getting aces eight handed with his stack? This guy, like it's the same with the Damo, right? When these guys get these, they're so aggressive. They, 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 they go over bets. They, they use the full game tree. And now he gets the, the, the aces versus Jacks. And this is a, Kind of no path out. Let's see if Archer's going to trap or just put it back in. I think he's going to realize that that David can attack him with some some weak hands, but also at the same time with the ICM and some of the shorter stacks that he's likely going to be strong here. So let's uh, let's see if David's able to. I, I don't see how how can you get away from this situation. I don't I don't know. I mean, uh, I guess especially could... against Arthur, he's just so yeah. aggressive. He's 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 for sure capable of having a bunch of bluffs in 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 this line as well. <clears throat> so it's it's very hard to to get away from David if he's gonna make a big hero fault. I will be I will be surprised, but let's see. Or, or a world where he, yeah would call, but no, he's gonna get shown the bad news. He is gonna have about twenty percent there. He's even dominated in the suits, which just adds a bit of extra tough scenario to come ahead as it's gonna need two outs, one to come four point five five percent, or we will be seven handed. That is not a jack, not a face card, no sweat. Two point nine million going Arthur's way. And he is again now your chip leader, basically tied Pablo as the blinds are up 30k, 60k. Again, playing to a winner. You can see the payouts lower left, 357 up top and just an all in here from Russia having a pretty big showing today uh in the the final table landscape. There is what three, and then I guess you could argue Ilya's in that region. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ilya, I think, is a uh, 
as I call in the situation. He's, he's oh, he, he decides to fold. That's interesting. He is showing for 500,000, is it right? Um, he, he gets it through. Interesting. Yeah. I, oh, mystery hand, Roman. We need you here. Show us some skill, man. I'm the color guy. You're the you're the you're the you're the crusher. Let's get you ace nine off. You're playing your Pablo. Start with the raise. I'm sure you like it. He's got six million. He's gonna be opening a lot wider than that. Everything straightforward so far. I'll let you let you take it from here. Ooh, tough player calls. Tough hand now. This is a little harder to play out of position. Or yeah. All right, ace nine, ace high board. What do you like here? I don't mind checking. <clears throat> you can bet small or check. Both are fine, but I would probably go with a check here. You know, Ilya is going to have a lot of hands like uh, tens, nines. So our min bet is pretty nice too. Yeah, that's, that's 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 what I like too. You know, you target a lot of hands like king, queen, king, jack, tens, on the jack pair. So it, there's a little likelihood that he can have like queen, jack, king, jack suited, even ace, jack. So... Uh, you can I would I would check in this position. Okay. And yeah, now it gets a little tricky too, right? Because the aces that he has, the ace queen off, maybe I don't know if he plays ace ten suited like this, but he would be in trouble on, on the aces, right? He, unlikely Ilya's flat in like ace five of hearts or ace five suited and stuff such. I guess he could, but at this moment though, what do you like now on the river? The king comes. Kicker issues <clears> a little out. I, I like the check. I think, uh, you know, you're very often, what are you losing against is like basically nothing. Uh, maybe like Quinton said it, you are, you are very often chopping here and Ilya can start turning into bluff something like pocket tens, pocket nines, which you kind of block, pocket eights. So it's quite likelihood that you are actually chopping versus something like ace queen or ace ten. Uh, so do you, do, you, do you think that Ilya would bet, would bluff sevens or eights or nines here, or do you think he would just be checking because Pablo could have such a wide range? Wow, kings. Well, he actually ends up having kings, which is uh, mm, interesting. And I, I I would I would think that he would more likely play play more aggressive. So <clears throat> obviously it's a likelihood as well. But I I I don't think they would they would bluff sevens or eights. Uh, nines there very often because it's yeah. it's quite hard to uh, you're actually targeting very often hands like ace x which right. uh, isn't is probably never gonna fold yeah uh, just also the fact that pablo with the chip lead can open so wide that they're just like you're you're probably you're good a fair amount too yeah right? you could be you could be good sometimes as well you could so. have like five things suited mm. and all these things so yeah all right interesting nice nice pickup for Ilya there big big pot to get important nice one him, yeah finds a gin as Arthur is going to go ahead and be speeding here and uh interesting these are two titans i would say two of the more experienced players on the gg million two of the bigger names in poker as well as these guys are battling you can see that like there's he's he's thinking he's got king seven but does decide to relinquish and nice pick up there for Arthur. just c betting taking it down Best start today. Seven left, couple knockouts, couple huge stacks, short stacks now in play. And Arthur doing what he does, going to town. And you know, this is uh this is one of those things with your spades, like this is exactly the the problem when you you're in this spot and this is why you get to open so wide, because you do get to put some modest hands in tough spots, but space has seen enough of the show. He knows he knows that this is just too good a spot and he does make the play and risks his chips correctly. Picks it up, puts him back to about a million. This is live, just on a delay. Good to see you guys in the chat. And someone's saying that it is, uh, he says, Lil Beam swear that Melanowski is on every final table. There was a stretch during the, the broadcast where I had to like, where I'd get the sheet and I would wonder if it was the prior week because there was a couple of familiar names, but Victor was always there. So, you know, he, I think he's taking a little break from maybe not playing as much of these, but at the moment, you know, he is, uh, he's got some of the most caches, I think, ever on the, on the show and a very tough player, very creative, always fun to watch as, uh, G takes it down. That's your guy, right? You got the, you got the Russian. Yeah. 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 I think I got more players than you right now. 
think you you got the two guys busted, right? Those were those are your guys. Yeah, so I have space and Pablo, and you have super solid Artur. Did you get? You did get. You got Victor instead of. Uh, you took him over David, which was a close call in chip wise. Yeah, yeah. That was a. So far, you made one like great, great choice. So far, that was a tough. That was like a tough call. I think you you realizing too the, the seat right the Pablo seat. That's tough. Tough seat for David. And yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know, it was. It was. Yeah, I think he uh, Victor is a slightly better seat. Oh. Let's see if if super solid is 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 gonna. Go for a shove here. Uh, just decides to call. Interesting. Yeah, both players picking up a pair and a gut shot. So pretty, pretty nice flop here for the Ace King suited. Super solid. Got the back door flush though. Only difference in terms of the pair and gut shot. But again, Ace King pretty far ahead. Oh, wow. That is a welcome sight if you are super solid. That is quite a card. Ooh, interesting one here. What do you, what do you think? You, you small bet? Yeah. Could check or small bet. There's always like... He's trying to buy the river with like good hand or like or or, or a bluff trying to bluff him off some some one per hands. So I, I'm 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 curious what is super solid gonna do if he's gonna like mink click or something. That would be actually pretty funky. Just jams all in. Wow. Yeah, bet folding there seems sort of that's tough, but I guess yeah, you uh, said the But pick. snap fold, that was that was pretty quick. Didn't even think about it. A lot of interesting hands. We started off with an absolute banger of a hand with the double from Pablo for five and a half million versus Victor. If you're joining us, that was the the tempo has been fast and furious. And again, some very creative and aggressive players. So likely that is going to be how we'll see this one today. Hope you're enjoying. Let us know again where you're watching from the world. I'm in Costa Rica at the moment, we got a uh, we have Roman in in Europe over. In Austria, what's the temperature like there right now? Well, it's it's quite cold, you know. It's not like it's not like in South America where you have sun all day and and and, and it's pretty. Unfortunately, it's not like that, you know. Winter times here. I don't know. I just like probably like five degrees or something outside, and not not very warm at all. Yeah. Well, Victor welcoming a... Tough hand for Victor, actually. Not sure what is he going to end up doing here. Very, very close. Very close hand. Is it like uh, eight big blinds, 7.5? Mm, There's nice. a lot of money there with the blinds and the ante, and then he already put like 20 up. And he's putting like... I mean, that's, that's actually probably fairly close, yeah. Uh, Victor is definitely one of the guys who uh, has very, very good... Uh, ICM knowledge and understanding and respectful towards the ICM game. You know, like a lot of uh, cash game players, they are not really uh, as respectful as, as, as Victor is. So that's a, a that's very, very interesting. On the other hand, Pablo with pocket fives might be flipping here, but also probably not, not the best price. Spaz is gonna be pretty pretty tight here as well. Oh, let me get this tweet again. Jeff Gross Poker Twitter, Roman, you're welcome for the fifty dollars as well. Let's see if I can find this tweet and pin. Um, shit. I have to do it over here. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it is. It is fun to watch. I will say these guys are. These guys are tough, man. This is. This is some. This. This is not a. Not an easy lineup to get through. Winning these. These titles, they should send trophies, and it, I feel like it should be. 
you know, mega trophies they send in the mail. Cause these guys are, these guys are battling. These are some of the best to do it. And, and again, very familiar with one another. A lot of ex exploitative stuff here because these guys all play such at a high level that they, they really do know what to do. Right. So it's, it's, uh, it's very curious to see who comes out ahead. Of course, some luck, but there's some really, really interesting bets and sizings and great, great bluffs, great reads every week here. As this is a little too much board for Ilya there at the the Queens top set versus Ace Eight just doesn't get his opponent to go ahead and have anything to to battle with. As Arthur is actually back in the chip lead. I mean, pretty impressive. You can lose a five and a half million chip pot and seven handed still be leading. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to, you know, he's playing good, opening it off pots, playing against uh, people who have a big ICM. So he's, you know, he's he's doing the the black black job there, you know, or how they call it, the dirty job. Yeah, he's doing he's doing the dirty work. Let me see. I'm gonna get this. I gotta go on this device on the road, man. It's it's. So it's harder to not be be at be at home and, and do this. I'm like on a little screen. I'm trying to pull up the chat. I got I'm trying to get this this tweet. Can't find how to do this. Where is this? Uh, yeah, trying to get this out. Ace Queen, King Queen, and Elia is gonna be calling with King Queen suited and hello. Nice flop there. Ace Queen, is there something about that? Can you give us a, a, a trick, Roman, on on Ace Queen? Oh, there you go. There you just turns it turns a nice card there. I like the play. I like the check back. You know, if if if, if you flat there with pocket pairs, they might fall right away versus one bet. So uh, you protect your range with a little check back, and now it's gonna be pretty hard for Ilya to to fault even versus two bets. Uh, basically, the top of his range here. Hmm. Yeah, that is such a such a brutal run out for Ilya. Maybe the river could save him a bit. I mean, I, you realizing start realizing what hands you're beating, not a ton for value. Yeah, it dep dep depends how how Spicer is gonna decide to be greedy with his hand. If he's gonna jam for value, oh, that's interesting. I I don't mind this this his lead from Ilya. To be honest, he actually get a pretty good pretty good discount on, on the river in this situation. Uh, it could have costed him way, way more. And you know, hands like Ace Jack, Ace 10 might not bet anymore for value on the river. So, uh, pretty, pretty good lead, I think from him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, uh... Very, very interesting. So two million for Ilya still in there. Pablo five. Archer was six. Short stacks kind of bundled up there with no one super short. I mean, I guess twenty blinds for super solid space now at one point six. Victor twenty blinds, and your short stack gets tens. No one really to tangle with. Excuse me. What's your favorite live stop that you've played at? What, which which series do you enjoy going to across the world that you've, you've gotten? How old are you, Roman? I'm 28. Yeah, hey, wow. So young, young. You got they, where where do you where, where's like your your best place every year? If you could pick one place, you're like I'm gonna go for a few weeks for a series or, or you know. I, I have to admit that one of the of the favorite things is uh, probably Miami, which is actually happening right now. But I'm I'm not gonna be going. You know, I was a little bit sick last few days, and I've been traveling a lot. Need to need to rest uh, rest a little bit more at home, and uh, so probably gonna skip it this time. But I enjoy I, I enjoy Triton series for sure. I've been too few. They they're not easy to to play, but you know they're a lot of fun. So a lot of the best players in the world are going there at the same time. A lot of pros who who are very smart people as well. So, uh, some are very good players as well. So it's very competitive. You know, the 
Mm. The ROIs in terms of uh, EV are, are are running very close, and so there's a lot of money to be lost as well. You know, so it's yeah. not very it's not very easy. You, you, have a second, you, know, you got a second place I won, right? Recently, or was it when was that? Yeah, I won. Uh, I I got second uh, in Vietnam uh, early this year, so that was actually my first ride on stop. And uh, yeah, I was I wasn't really really planning on going to be honest, but uh, my girlfriend, uh, who's the ACR pro, she won the uh, challenge to go there. Yeah. So, uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna support and I'm gonna go with you, and then I ended up, I ended up playing uh, basically the whole series, and uh, I got second in 25k, uh, which was obviously great. And yeah, then I I was like, yeah, okay, let's play maybe a little bit of more of those high rollers. It was pretty good, yep. and uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I ended up playing I think uh, one more stop of Triton or two. I'm not sure. Yeah, but, yeah no, it's, it's a lot of fun. You know, they are like doing a really great job uh, especially it's a lot of fun for uh, for poker players or for everyone no it's amazing I, I, it really is it's uh it's unbelievable what they're doing and it's uh it's very cool actually the the nice to see the 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 millions the gg millions live the 25k be at the stops and put around the world now which they'll have in the bahamas big one as well and that's going to be it's it's cool to see that at Triton and and how that's working out and it seems like people are well received for how that keeps track right it's like keeping track of the actual profit of of the tournament and how people fare in that because that, that's one of the behind the mob it's a bit it's great but it's a bit you don't really know you can't really scale like, oh well this guy's had this much earnings but what is he in for where I like that with the GG million it's like a yeah. leaderboard keeping track of the actual you know P and L and and how 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 it works how many rebuys how much you know you're actually profitable and I think that's really cool how they've They've implemented that into the, the live feel to to put some validity to that. So, yeah, it's uh, it's very cool. Uh, we see an open now, and Ace King Ilya getting good timing here with some premiums against opens, and and likely we're not really seeing a lot of inducing today. We've just sort of been seeing this the, yeah. the shove. Like you know, they have a lot of a lot of like medium short stacks. You know, fifteen bigs there. There's a lot of straightforward going going for value just through jamming with yeah. just hands not really too much inducing i think that there have been some some spots which could have been induced a little bit more but they they, they play a little bit uh straightforward what about you jeff are you going to some uh live stops are you playing still some poker or are you just commentating or what's up with you I'm I'm gonna be going to the Bahamas. I played the main event at the World Series. I just had a baby, the second baby, mm -hmm. so like it's like six and nine, six months. So it's been a the last stretch has been less, but I I, I love playing. I mean, I want to get back out and and do it. Obviously, I live in Miami. It's a bit hard to you know with streaming. So it's I do the weekly show, the podcast. I actually, just had Nikita Luther on, who's on the Game of Gold. So that'll, nice. that'll be coming here very shortly. That's that's uh, excited to. She that she's 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 a super super. You know, it was like giddy. How much how much she loved that experience so that, like i love the podcast that's something i've been doing a lot of and then uh you know i do i do see myself like i'm in costa rica right now in theory i could stream right like I, i'm here with family but it's, it's just with the kids it's so different you know it's like now it's like to when i was streaming on twitch for five years pretty intensely it's just it was like you know it's a little different now it's hard to justify doing the podcast doing the show traveling around poker and now the kids are sort of like with the school or bringing them to like, you know, you don't want to bring your, yeah. your seven month old on a like aggressive trip to like go play poker all day, leave it the way. It's just like a whole different experience. So I'm trying to find ways to still be active and do a lot of poker, but not be as selfish, you know, cause it's uh, with being single or even having a relationship, it's one thing, but to have kids, it's yeah. yeah you start like really prioritizing, prioritizing time. So that's sort of like, and I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm like caught with it, right? Because I love playing so much. And I love, you know, doing, you know, I play private games. I actually run my own game in Miami as well. And then do some do some private app stuff. But it's it's just, yeah, it's a time thing. And it's uh, Bahamas, though. Like, I'm psyched to go there. I'll play the series. It's like a perfect. Like, I can justify, like, 12 days, play some of these events, play a main there. And, you know, like, also it helps, like, doing the commentary here with the top players in the world, it's awesome, right? To sort of see if like, it's hard to get to a final table, 
But if I do, I feel like I have a, I, you know, I'm pretty, I've seen all the episodes, right? I, I know sort of what's going on and I pick up little tricks and I sort of am learning and looking at what people are doing in different spots. And uh, yeah, I think it, it helps a little bit with that. So I'm, I'm excited. Hopefully make a final table though, right? Cause that, this doesn't teach you how to get there. This isn't all the other stuff. This is just, all right, final table. How do you, how do you play? What's the best strategy? Yeah, I, I hope for you that it, it, it works out well and uh... You're gonna, you're gonna be there. You're gonna not gonna comment that, I guess. But yeah, exactly. That'll be that'll be more fun. Playing is more fun, I will say. It's it's, it's yeah. fun to commentate, and do, but the, actually being there, driving, clicking buttons, having the exhilaration of the result. It's uh, it is it is. It's, there's nothing quite like playing. We see Arthur don't go ahead and take a spot, just rip in a pretty modest holding, just showing you another illustration of his how he gets chips right he's he's doing things that you don't see everyone's not going to just make that play and take down mm -hmm. that extra you know 170,000 and risking effectively 1.5 but he's he's got it dialed in and, and he is not afraid to put pressure on actually a funny story i mean you were involved i i, I was about to ask you i don't know if you remember but uh actually my most interesting poker story is where you have been involved but i don't know if you remember that okay. uh do you actually remember there was this flip and go running uh it was i think uh last year and oh my, wait uh, don't tell me you were the one who gave up your seat yeah it was me who i, I no. gave up the seat to you yeah no was it really i can't i remember yeah. this thing i didn't know that oh shit that's that's that is yeah. that is that's a great that is a wild story actually that is yeah. that is insane. How many more did it take you to get? Uh, I I didn't I didn't I didn't get there anymore. You know. So what happened is basically I played. I think I'm not sure. I think around 15, 15 bullets in this flip and go, and I didn't make it. Oh my and then God. 15. Uh, yeah, yeah. There was a lot. I think around fifteen. Yeah. And because uh, I did that the year before, I, I I made a fold in the one where Sean Deeb. And I did a vlog on it because, like, I was like, I was like a close spot where I actually had a decision, and I kept like top pair and a better kicker than the gut shot, and the gut mm -hmm. shot came to the tide and had a race off, and then I proceeded to do like whatever. I think it was sixteen or eighteen bullets, and and it was like so tilting. And so yeah, and then like this was like a reverse side story, but that, I didn't realize I I didn't realize that I didn't know that I remember now I didn't realize that was you, and then I didn't know that you were actually in for that many, and then you didn't. So yeah, yeah, I, I wasn't for like fifteen, and what happened is that. Uh... Uh, Pats came, uh, I don't know, I just met him and, and he was playing in for, I think, the first bullet. And uh, he was like, yeah, come on, Roman, let's 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 play some more of Deuce. And I was like, no, man, I'm done. I fired 15 bullets. I don't want to burn much more money than that. And I was like, come on, let's do last one. You know, let's have some fun and stuff. I was like, okay, I'm going to buy for one more. Then, you know, I buy in, I sat at the table. And uh, I know Pat was still at the cage, so he's like, yeah, I'm going to play the next one. But I was already sitting in at the table. And then uh, uh, Brian Rust, I think, he he came in and he took the last seat. And then you were like running in, like, oh, I want to play as well, I want to play as well. I was like, but there was no more seat. And then uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll just take my seat, whatever, I can play the next one. And uh, and then you end up winning it, so it was it was quite funny. It, yeah. Well, it's not funny because that has got to be in it's in raging tilt, especially that it wasn't your first one or something. The fact that you had played a bunch and would have had the winner like that is that is a crazy story. Actually, I, I owe you a free roll then because I think I gave like a 10 percent free roll. But I but it, I knew yeah. I like I cash for like nothing or whatever. I because I, I don't know if we ever I think I said like message me or something, but I, I think I got like literally a min cash. But like I would have loved to have won won the bracelet and given uh yeah you know, yeah, give, yeah. Give i mean it was obviously very very appreciated yeah but yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, I think yeah you said like oh, i have a free or 10 percent. i don't know yeah but uh, yeah, yeah i don't know what was whatever it's, i think it's, I, I think I, ca I cashed it was like uh it was super dusty so but yes i i do remember that that whole story i can't believe that was you that's a that's wild that is wild so yeah you're entitled to uh I have to look at the hand mob. I don't know what I cash for, but it was it yeah, was. Yeah, don't worry. It was we, 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 we can do the, the double better dinner, you know. When I'm gonna win, win this one with the GG. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a better dinner place. Okay, all right. Well, you're, you're in good. You're in decent shape, I'd say, with Arthur driving seven million, and uh, the, the, right now I'm running out of I'm running out of, of 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 bright lights here. Although I guess I'd do a Pablo in space. So still still some hope.
That was an interesting chef by Pablo, by the way, with uh, Ace for off suite. Just yeah. regen versus super solid. And Lilia is trying to play a bit spicy here with A7 off. But takes it down. Yeah, it just shows you the timing, right? Ilya goes, makes a move with A7 off, and then you have um, Peters with jacks, right? Runs into aces. So they're, yeah, they're it's it's good. just yeah, they're so really about, about about timing. You know, Arthur is opening very wide, so people are obviously trying to punish him a little bit, and uh, just good timing for him. Yeah, and Victor's gonna basically all in, raise, commit all in, and Ten's gonna be in a great spot. Although you know, spades, possible straights. Flushes aces. There is an opportunity. Ten's great flop though. Doesn't have any spades. Does pick up a gut shot seven. He's an ace or a seven, or he will be your seventh place finisher. And there he is, the, the legend. Golf clap, the little Elky golf clap there from his friend on the left. As we will see, good game and down to six players now. All guaranteed six figures. Big big payout today. Three fifty seven up top, and Arthur is your clubhouse leader at the moment. Pablo close behind. And everyone else sort of just just hanging around, right? I mean, this is uh, two guys that know how to execute and finish off tournaments. So let's see if uh, Pablo and Arthur, I think you got to be your favorites for one, two, clearly at this point with six left. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, ICM now on super solid Spice, uh, Jacob Schuller, you know, there's uh, everyone basically between 15, 20 bigs. So uh, you have to be playing a little bit cautious. Even Ilya is like probably the guy who has the biggest uh, ICM in this situation. So he's definitely going to play with caution. Yeah, all players with the chess clock. Interesting, Ace 4 going to go ahead and barrel here, just deciding as range advantage and is going to put the pressure on Queen 10. I mean, not, I mean, you obviously you can't go anywhere, but you don't love it. And now the river, quite a run out. Ace four actually has what aces and jacks and beats the queen and ten. So a kind of kind of not good run out here for uh, Artur. And he's thinking, hmm. thinking his options. I mean, he's also realizing this, right? He's very aware of the bluffs and the random hands. And I mean, he does have a spade. So maybe is he thinking to turn his hand into a bluff? And he is going to go ahead and bet it, which is super interesting. I, I guess this is some sort of bluff. <clears throat> Not really sure what to think about it, to be honest. Uh but at the it same is. time, at, at the same time, yeah, I don't really know what is, uh, what else is is Archer bluffing as well, right? So, he's he's gonna have a bunch of uh, king queens in this in this spot. It's probably gonna gonna fold a lot of ten x on the turn already. So, uh, oh, and he. Oh. I, I got to say, that, that is a fascinating hand. Like, if you really think about what happened, ace four off, bets with air, picks up a gut shot, falls through, then actually gets to the winner, and then Arthur, who's just calling, then is now, does not have the best hand, and he bluffs. So, kind of, kind of, I, I mean, I think yeah, I think he realizes what he's, I mean, obviously he knows what he's doing. I'm just saying, I think that's what he's he's targeting, maybe a hand like that. That was, that was a very nice, very nice uh, play from him on the river. I mean, with the cards face up, you know, it's it's fun to get to guess. But, like, the fact that, like, these guys, you know, cards face down, making great plays, great bluffs, targeting specific hands and situations, it really is uh, it's fun to watch. It is fun to watch. These guys are so good, make the right decisions so often. And this could work well for Super Solid if you min raise and Arthur with the ace-10 in this situation with stacks smaller, right? This is definitely one of the hands where he, I think he may feel he can put a lot of pressure on. There's still Pablo involved. So I think it might be to go for some three, but fault or something like that yeah. in this situation. Yeah. Yeah. He can't rip it for sure. Not going to rip 5 million effective or 4.8, but yeah, I'm saying yeah. super solid. One of those exact stacks 
that he could, but just just again, just decide, all right, no, finds don't the, have to finds the fault. Spot. Yeah, this is this is another of two spots where you know Arthur recognizes that Super Saw is playing pretty pretty tight. No need to go crazy with marginal hand in this situation. So and you know, and he instead gonna pick up eight seven off here and just try to race versus Ilya who's gonna have the biggest ICM in, in, in this scenario and uh uh he's just gonna play versus him quite aggro. Just take the take the easy chips versus the you know bad ranges instead of playing against someone who's very tight. Is there any scenario that just flat here because they're so deep and he's out of position and he just doesn't want to like blow it up to like 600k and then get flatted or something? So he does flat. I was that was that I saw this in a similar situation recently. Do you are you surprised by that or do you think that just makes sense because of the situation in the chips? I, I think this is this is obviously very nice, very nice play by Pablo. I don't think there should be uh like very many three bets in this scenario and it's 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 I, I would say it's like obviously like big big ICM uh, ICM overkill in this situation because I was always talking about ICM and uh, from the other guys but the, the guy who is the biggest ICM is Pablo obviously but uh, I was just not thinking that he would stack it off with like you know fifty sixty bigs uh, in this in these scenarios uh, when he can just you know be be going easy so I I really like the flat from him. And you can probably really flat like everything in this situ situation. Reminds me a little bit of the hand in the game of gold with the ace king and aces. I don't know if you saw that episode. Um, no, I, I don't think I saw it yet. I, I only saw, I think, the first one. So I I was about to watch with some of them, but but didn't didn't make it there yet. Yeah, it's uh there, there was like a hand whatever I won't even talk I don't want to spoil any of it. It's such a great show. I'm I'm just so impressed with with everything in the in the mm -hmm. the whole thing. As we do see eight seven eight does get a little showdown checks back. Pablo gonna go ahead and pick it up as blinds go up to forty k eighty k ace queen suited for space pretty nice looking hand here also with archer out of the way a little less scary pablo on the button no one has much here i got my man misha in the building here in the in the in the mix misha how are you good How's it? we're doing good man this is uh this is a this is a big final table this is the 10k gg million here and Misha, Misha become an up and co up and coming poker player in the mix here. Grigorov, if I pronounce it right, I, I, all you guys' last names in Europe, you guys are hard, man. I, I feel like I messed up last name, but Roman, this is a this is a two legendary player. You got your Ru ba Russian background, you guys. Right. Right. He's in Austria, and we got we got a high level stuff here today. Roman, give me your standout hand today. What's been the most most impressive, exciting hand you think you've seen? I think the play from. Arthur now with Queen Ten was was very impressive to me. You know, I think a lot of uh, high stakes players, me included, wouldn't wouldn't find this this bet on the river. You know, you you really feel like you are very high in, up in your range to to bluff, but if you riffing about it, you know, there's just so much things which get there, and you can actually end up uh, bluffing the guy of a, of a top pair in this situation. And uh, so it was. Uh, it, it it was very very well played, so I was I was quite impressed about that. Who who's your pick to win right now, Pablo or Arthur? I mean, Arthur's got the chips and one of the best in the world. Who who's uh, I mean, how close is it? Like out of uh, ten times, this plays out. What do you think, Arthur wins and Pablo wins? And and factoring in others as well. Like how many times do you think actually those at the table? Give me that breakdown. Ten ten iterations. How many do they win? Uh, I, I don't know. It's it's very hard to say. You know, like Pablo still has like uh, a really lot of chips. You know, if he if he busts out someone, like it's gonna get even. So, uh, you know, you win one more one more uh, you know, one more pot against Arthur, and it just like can flip around right away. Like exactly what happened in the first hand. You know, Arthur is gonna put a lot of pressure on Pablo as well if he's he's not afraid. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it's 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 very hard to say, but. But, but I, I think Arthur is obviously a little bit favorite because of the chip stack right now. Yeah, Pablo just gonna go ahead and 
exert force there as there is a super short stack, 545,000 at 80K big blind. So again, Ilya not really incentivized to risk chips at the moment. Space with the King Jack could get involved, but also recognizing that he's going to get put in some tough situations by Pablo and have to, yes. yeah. Ace nine, that's a rip and ace four suited. Not wanting to call off, oh. but it's getting close. Doesn't even think about it. Would think he would at least consider it, but does does fold. Very quick fold. Yeah. yeah. Misha, are you more of a tournament or cash game player these days? Tournament, for sure. Tournament. All right. Wait, wait. I said Misha's got to have a score. We can bring him on. <laughs> GG Millions guest, but for now we're just we'll give a couple couple hands in. He's uh he's he's up he's up and coming, and he knows uh, he definitely you follow along though, right? You've seen he's seen he's seen what's going on. Got to watch game of gold though. I can't believe we haven't yeah, seen yeah, that. You're crazy. He's like big poker fan 101, and and we gotta like that's that's a real poker show. That's, uh, you're gonna have to check that out. Wow, tough spot. Arthur here, queen nine tens. Tens like the dream flop. Nine four five rainbow. Your opponent hooks a nine. Yeah, he might even look at. He's this guy's. This is the this Arthur's not a caller, Misha. Arthur, he plays. He's on. He <laughs> likes pressure, information. Man. He likes to know where he's at. He's he's in there and space has got to love it. I mean, honestly, there's the six seven six three draws and and now i mean arthur may just maneuver maneuver himself away from that look at that bet fold check raise fold top pair nine queen kicker he just knows he just knows some guys know he knows he's scary arthur still preserving seven million and the all in king jack off good shove there forces a couple sweet ace folds good result where are we going to dinner, Roman? What's there? Are we doing Austria? Are we doing Miami? I mean, is it if one of us win? Is that, I got to start this uh, breaking that down as a caveat. You know, is, is part of the dinner like a flight? That would be that would make it a real bet. Like, imagine I had to fly to Austria to go to dinner. You have to fly to U.S. for a for a dinner. That would that would up the stakes a that. lot. Yeah, we got a little dinner wager. A little wager. Yeah, nice dinner. I mean, especially if you don't have to fly for poker tournament, then it's that would be an extra extra special dinner i would say you know normally yes. when i fly somewhere i'm there because of poker right then i don't know i fly to asia and like yeah there's poker to be played so why not but then like imagine you just fly for for dinner you know that, 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 that that's not what i'm very familiar with so far <laughs> I can't. I, yeah, I can't. I, I do a show every week. That would get a little too aggressive to have to start flying all over to yeah. uh, to go for dinner. And look at this is not going to work. But he is going to act. But he a six suited. He's got a shot. Space who has not had a win ever and has a lot of good results. Wow, sweaty turn. Never easy. Wow. Seventy thirty. Can he fade? He can do it. Today might be his day. And that is a big, big outcome for Space, who does put it on the line, gets the hold. Pablo with a blow to the stack, but still in it. Three million and Space with four million. So, all right, what is it? Seven million to, I got seven million and you've got like 11, right? Roughly something like that chip. So it's still, still wide open, four to two. Who'd you guys pick? Who's your guy? I got, I got, you know, I got Brazil. I'm Brazil. always repping Brazil. Oh, well. I got my what Brazilian wife. I gotta, I gotta try to get it when I can to Brazil and then space, space 411, a lot of experience. But this guy, Arthur Mortrizi, and I don't know if you're familiar with him. He's, uh, he's won seven GG millions. He's one of the crushing live, crushing online, and he has got the chips again today. Seven nine suited, going for it under the gun and space. A little different, right? In position, not out of position, but expect a pretty big raise here. We did see the ace king flat by Pablo out of position. I wouldn't be surprised if we can see a flat again here, but he decides to go for a three bet. And big size. Yeah, big, big size. I have to readjust the table here. I was trying to get good lighting. I put the I put the sunlight. It's very sunny though. It's a little bright. I might, might have to move, move this over. Oh, let me let me uh, mute this one second. Let me move this table. We can see another small three bit from Arthur. See what is Celia gonna do? It's gonna flat or or just let it go. Or maybe jam, perhaps. Is that is this lighting better? Is this still seems pretty bright? You did. 
that way. Hold on. It's this. You go a little, little click back with the bass check off. I think that's better. Oh, those curtains there. Yeah, maybe that's better. So, yeah, I think that's better. Ace, oh, tier ones right here and eights. Pocket eights. We saw Ilya fold this hand in a similar spot, a little different because he's less players, also different juncture, does flatten Archer now. Actually, Pablo might get put in a tough spot here. Although I don't think Archer's not just going to rip, right? So, what is he? Three million? He's got seven. Uh, I think they're going to gonna, gonna put it in at some point, but probably not, not all in the right way. It's a bit too deep. Wow. Whoa, man. All right, so there's the all-in. I guess Arthur covers six million. He's got tier one six-handed, and we're going to see five. Two flush draws here. Could be some blood. Let's see if we get a sweat. Arts and diamonds, and each has a back door. Fair fight? All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, a seven no million. No sweat. Boring. That is boring. I, a little <clears throat> boring. Boring right there. And eights, though, would have made that set of eights. Would have held <laughs> anyway, and he did get out of the way. Shows it even as we are still six handed and super solid with a solid hand against pablo who's going to be opening fairly wide is this good enough to rip pretty close he does go for it Oops. 12 yeah he's 40 80 Nines up to 16. Good pickup. Archer going super wide, as expected with his stack. Yeah, Pablo cannot play as much anymore. Right now, he's <clears throat> again mixed in the middle right now, so need to be playing a little bit more cautious again. Although, Yulia probably just flats here, right? In the big line. Yeah, it's too yeah that probably makes the most sense. Archer, likely a quarter bet or some small bet on this board. Ace, deuce, deuce. Ilya going to like the situation. But still scary, right? You're out of position. You could be against Ace King. You got to fade, possibly clubs or something. But as, as it stands, pretty... Nice spot. And I guess here, Arthur, is there some value for betting to get value from a flush draw and then price the river or just to just to keep control, small bet, or do you like check back always? Yeah, I think check back is, is probably better in this situation. You know, you're you're just like by owning yourself against this relatively tight ranges in the big blind. So the only, uh, the only yeah. thought though is here now, like in a spot where a player might have, and maybe he thinks the player just won't bluff clubs on the river yeah the that's 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 the thing uh you can still call the river depends depends about the sizing yeah i think yeah. versus this he's he's never gonna fold but he'll get paid yeah for that size no doubt the uh, got a got a call yeah but but again seeing that the difference in in constructing the hand and archer deciding to check back turn makes sense and then does get a very affordable price on the river and he just he's just a vacuum he's just he just goes to work he's right back 6.4 opening playing pots here he is he's going to get get to play here closing the action he's going to go raise and get to get to play the 6-4 suited equity okay and uh not a fun spot for Ace King, right? You're like, all right, I got Ace King, I'm in position, and now all of a sudden the board's just absolute garbage for you. Six, ten, nine, and you got a very sticky, capable player in the big line. Yeah, yeah the board is very not favorable for Ace King right now. It's yeah, like hard it. to That's for sure. hard to continue on this one. Interesting checks, I guess. Yeah, realizing the situation, he's either probably good against the, the broadways or behind. And at the river now, he can feel a little more 
uh, he can feel a little more comfortable. All right, well, six four gonna show down. My uh, son walking by, he's ready. You want to come on, but no, uh, not quite at the age to be able to give guest commentary. So we're going to let him keep on walking there. But we are still six, six handed, going to play to a winner. King at seven suited, ace queen. Chip's getting spread around a little. For a moment, I thought it might just be a two man show, but Elias chipped up a bit. Pablo had a double up to space. And that's how it kind of goes in tournaments. It's rare. You just get to see someone just completely walk away with it, run it over. And we are seeing a little distribution here. And our friend from Russia there up top, G, Mac, he's going to need help. He is pretty short stacked. Kings for Pablo. Poker is a wild game. You know, you got to get good hands, got to have things hold. You want it the right time. Timing is one of those just, it's amazing some of the guys too with the timing and spots. They just seem to really have it down pat. I don't know. I mean, you, you, there's so many factors, right? You would like to with the timing because there is reasons why you do things, the position, who's opening stack sizes. But when it all matches up, it just, you look like a genius. And then there's times where you just, like the first three bet you make, you know, you run into it or you, you, you know, you four bet as a play and they just have it. And, it's just like, you know, I don't know. It's funny because I, I think that 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 kind of early experiences as a poker player, too, at times, I think based on your results and your timing can sort of affect your emotions on future. You know, like uh, I always say that myself. I've always been on the tighter side. I think like the timing wise for a few different spots, like went for it or took chances and then like things didn't go well. And you just kind of like, you know, it stays in your your head. Right. I think there's something to that way with, uh, you know, being able to just sort of dissociate one situation from another it's important you know to, to take independent events and make the best plays but it's not fun if you three bet and instantly get four bet all the time right or if you four bet and they have it and you just you know you're or like at a final table you disregard icm a little bit and you get punished versus getting rewarded i think there's something to that yeah yeah for sure like it, it, it happens a lot you know you you're having like strong hands you three bet and then you get four bet they have better or you know or even even if you're like haven't been ever very active and you don't maybe bluff at all and then you decide to do like a little triple bluff once uh, after three orbits you didn't play a hand and then they just wake up with a hand you know it's like uh very you know yeah it's quite a standard it's part of the game too just timing and and you can see a lot of players who just get 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 with it uh, very often you know they just even three bet versus tight ranges and then they just you know wake up at the bottom of the range and very often it goes through it's it, it's it's part of the it's part of the luck as well you know sure we just saw Ilya get rid of 10 super solid finds 10s into jacks jack high flop that is going to ask for a lot on the turn as he is going to get a drawing dead full house gg golfer claps and we are down to five pay jumps for everyone involved good game for super solid space chipping up all of a sudden to 5.6 he is a million off the lead pablo in third Ilya healthy and then one short stack remains king ted suited space doesn't open ace eight off with his stack a little mm -hmm. bit curious there but uh, i guess you know, showing his sort of game plan and what he's coming out to do. And Pablo now with an ace off of a short stack. Uh -huh. Get out of the way. Whoa. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, you know, Arthur, uh, he's a very dangerous player. He's, uh, people are a bit scared to play against him. He's a cheap leader. He can play a lot against it. Uh, let's see what is Arthur going to do, if he's going to try to bluff off Ilya or something like that. Uh, uh, but... I'm not sure if, if if it makes too much sense. Maybe it does. Uh, you know, trying to keep the short stack in the game or something. Trying to kick yeah, out some well, better dominating hands. There's a lot of to 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 think of. Uh, he's so. he did he did knock off the hand. He actually does make 
two pair that doesn't count because the vibes are there. So the King 10 going to play and going to get the double up. But yeah, I mean, there's again, showing like finding ways that a little, a little bit curious. I think maybe the reason Pablo folding for a reason like that, whereas Ilya came in with the G6 yeah, yeah, for sure. bloodline and gets punished there. Um, to, to, to yeah, yeah. Adro is for sure one of the guys who's, who's capable of doing those things. You know, Pablo is aware of that, and he can just call two blinds, and Adro is just gonna three bet him to to six, seven, eight big blinds, and then Adro's uh, Pablo has a stuff spot afterwards. And keeping the short stack alive, you can really really punish him a lot. And uh, you know, Ilya is gonna have super super tough spot. Ilya and Pablo, they are like. Uh, Having a bad position right now on, on Arthur, you can see that the Arthur is just gonna start start punishing Ilya right away. It, it, but, it's uh, it's also it's it's exactly. I feel like Arthur's so in tune to what's happening. The players, their strategy, their dynamic. <laughs> We've seen big folds. Ilya the eighth just getting out of the way early for a, for like a raise. Here he folds tens. You know he doesn't get to see that yet. But some of the other hands and and just kind of going with the hand the, the hand selections and the spots where it's it's optional three bet situations and he's taking it on these on the spot i mean you can just see like yeah the, the way he really is like a vacuum man it's just he's back to seven million right he's even there he sprinkles the 10 three suited whatever doubles this guy up makes some light opens gets in some spots but he's just you can tell people are a little bit scared of him in general right like the feel like they kind of stay away they give him a little extra respect they just feel like he's dangerous and it it, it does does show yeah i mean they know they know what's going on i'm curious what is after just you know and now he's he's capable of like falling for those extra three blinds uh, or three point three point five blinds for for the all in knows that spice has a very very strong range so he's not gonna try to battle versus him and and he's gonna he's gonna let this one go all right gg gg consistent all the way around he is saying gg to everyone else and now himself so five remain down to four all of a sudden so a big big pay jump there four left gonna cue the giveaway here in a second we will put that i'll put that in the chat again excuse me i have to operate off of a secondary device because i'm on a laptop and limited screen space but i will put that in the chat and the tweet is available as well we have the tweet for 50 dollars jeff Post poker you can go there pinned tweet and make sure it's pinned and not actually be pinned twitter did you get it out, Roman? Are you eligible for the fifty? If you win, I'm gonna give it to some you and someone else. So I don't know if you. No, I was. I'm not sure if I got it in. Wait, that was. Come on, Roman. You gotta hit the thumbs up on YouTube. We gotta. We gotta give ourselves. Oh, I had a thumb up, but I'm. I'm on a, my girlfriend's uh, phone. Sorry. Uh, YouTube channel. So I guess I. I. I sent it out from, from her name. So. Uh, I guess it's not gonna work. All right, let me try. Let me try to put this on the YouTube chat. All right, let me get this done. So we, all right, fifty dollar. Fifty cash too. Fifty cash. I right, just put that up, playing it, catching it up. Make sure this isn't playing. Okay, I got it. Got the tweet out. Misha, you need the tweet out. Fifty dollar cash, man. I don't have Twitter. No social media. What? Look only, at this guy. Only Instagram, Just, you know? Okay. Yeah. Oh, let me see if it's on IG. I think there's some on IG. We're going to search for him in 20 minutes. Okay. I won't. I don't think this is long. Unless Arthur oh, we lost just, some players. Yeah, if Arthur just rips it in, maybe maybe we'll get there. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to say have hello. one guest here. I'm just going to say, say hello. hello. Hi. Hey, how are you, Monica? I'm guest. Hi. Right, she doesn't hear you. No, I don't. Okay. How's it yeah, going? Like, how are you? Hi, Jeff. It's good to see you. I don't have any makeup. I didn't know I'm gonna be here. I just came here to the room because I need this, something. This is the audition for the for the for the GG Millions future. If you, if you come on, I think you just passed. Everyone's going nuts in the chat. They want to see Monica. <laughs> well, if you gotta come Woo! on, let's we're go. Make some people. noise. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna book you. We're gonna auto book you here. But yeah, Roman's Roman knows this stuff. He's he's playing, making great decisions. He's he's dialed in, and we're having a good show. It's going quick. We're already down to the floor. It's so. funny because yep. we are watching you guys in the other room because we are doing the christmas cookies and we are like you're on the big screen in the room next to you. <laughs> so it's quite funny but yeah I'm, I'm gonna go and you do you and i'm going bye
Bye. Tell Monica. Bye, Monica. Tell her to tweet tweet stuff out and hit the thumbs up. Make sure she's. I will. I will. Right. I will. Right. You can, Monica, you can yeah. get some stuff up. I guess we gotta we gotta keep this alive. We gotta keep the best show on the internet going. We got we got a lot of familiar faces, new faces, and let me see if I put this up, man. I think oh. I some giveaway. Someone said tell Sasha that they're doing giveaway. <laughs> well, I guess then the, they are gonna uh, engage some people to try to try to get some extra yeah. giveaway. I don't know. Let's go, let's go, and they can win money. That's all. It's all good stuff here. As we see, seven fives around, and Victor, how does he? How does I'm sorry, Arthur? How does Arthur do it? Is he just? I mean, he just the guy. Is he? He has to be. Would you put him in your Mount Rushmore right now, in terms of poker, in terms of the the, the like the current crushers and the the most dangerous? Is he in that, or can you not reveal that because you battle with him? I don't want you to be like giving compliments out and look. So <laughs> um, and, yeah, yeah, for sure. They're like you know he's one of those guys who's like at the top top, like top five, top ten. It's 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 always super super hard to to guess who's the best uh, who's the best player or like who are the best five players. But you know he's. He's probably he's probably one of one of those guys who is like at the top for sure. Uh, he just he just knows you know where to get generate chips, where to push the pedal, where to be more aggressive, where to not be, as I said. So, and he's just you know he's just like a machine. He keep generating this this chips and he keep working, 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 opening those uh, those loose hands, trying to generate the most chips he can. I like this bet. He's got the ace of hearts in his hand. He has ace king, a little bit of a scary card, the queen, but he is going for value here. And he actually, Arthur has a very tough, tough spot. And I, I just think space goes for that big sizing, you know, 50% on the turn. Let's see if he's able to suss out one more value bet here. He just decides that's a, he's happy with the pot and kind of bills Arthur out not betting, but at the same time, I get it. I get his, his reasoning. Would you have liked to see a bet there just with that, that, that run out and how the hand played? Yeah, I think I think it's 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 a bit dangerous to bet a river again. You know, you can either check the turn and bet the river again, or 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 I think going for three streets on the on the uh, turn pairing queen is is a little bit uh, a little bit dangerous. Yeah, uh, he can have a lot of queen x and 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 you know it could it could cost you a lot of chips. So I I like the I like the way the spies have played it. Either either uh, either just check the turn or or uh check or better turn and check the river yeah also i mean for a chip lead dynamic there too right he's thick for chips he's right there it's like it's you're happy to win yeah. that one got the value tied for the chip lead four-handed playing for a lot of money a title bright lights it's uh it's yeah my, nice pot to have there and we are basically exactly tied space and our turn right now space so is number one one of these uh, I believe I've seen space, him at the final Yeah, he's uh, not one. I believe space has in my notes at least. They, I think season one, no season two. He had nine final tables. Nine final tables. That's and nice. season three, he's got four final tables and no titles. Arthur was seven. Pablo Silva has, I believe, three three wins. I'm not That's mistaken. So yeah. So I think no one else here has won. Ten titles between Pablo and Arthur, and they are sitting pretty nice again. Oh, mystery hand! I was, I was, I was looking at stats. So you're, you're gonna play Arthur Queen Six. Do you like the check back or normally might raise there? Yeah, I think both are fine. Check back is 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 is, is pretty pretty okay too. You know, Elia is probably not gonna be opening too wide. I think pretty pretty easy call on the flop. Nothing, nothing too much to do there. Let's see how is Ilya going to perceive. I think Ilya's got a big hand. I think also Archer realizes that he's playing pretty tight in the, the small blind in general. He's being cautious. So I think he's a little wary that Ilya is trying to trap him here. I just have this feeling that. Yeah, it might, might be. Might be. Ilya was playing pretty tight. Now he's going very, very big for value. I I, I like it. I like it. But uh, also, I wouldn't be surprised if Ilya has <clears throat> some strong Queen X here as well. Sometimes yeah. he. You know he likes to trap a little bit, especially, especially that's what I saw. Uh, you the turn there, if you're Archer. Uh, yeah. The 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 turn, but it's pretty big. I'm curious, what is he gonna end up doing on the river? I wouldn't I wouldn't mind like to some like you know fifty percent bet or something like that. Wow, he goes for all of it. You know, Archer is greedy. Archer is greedy, and I'm I, I don't hate it. 
not sure if I would find this value bet. I'm just like a little bit afraid that he might yeah. actually still be holding a little bit better Queen X. Uh, just because it, it was looking that he was he was like more on like kind of like a trappy side, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Uh, you know what he's doing. Uh, what do you think Ilya's cut off call range is here? I mean, you know, if you you, you could have stuff like uh, queen uh, queen two, queen three, queen five suited. You know, they're easy calling. Even like you can level yourself a lot into blockers. Eight, eight nine, ten, nine, jack ten suited. This kind of hands, and uh, I I actually like it. You know, you can really call. Uh, a lot of one pair hands, which are worse than a queen, you know, 10-9. Yeah, I, 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 that's a great point. Eight. Jack 10, Jack 10, 10-9 10, would be would be a tough tough ask to, to fold too, but man. Wow, I wonder what he has here. Does call Jack 4. Jack four. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Arthur, if you don't, uh, you should get the, the posters out. Get this man, get this man a sports card. That is a wild value. Just goes for it all. The jugular gets his man to call with the four and Ilya who played very snug and tight. And that's again, like knowing what, you know, I know, you know how I'm perceived or what's happening. I think Ar maybe you'll even level himself a bit there. Like that, that yeah. Arthur's going to use me. And that, you know, that was uh, he had a blocker, uh, a good key blocker in terms of blocking the nuts. He had a pair and wow, really, really high level hand right there. That was a fun one to watch. That, that, that's again, you see that Arthur is capable of going for max value in this situation. Maybe not everyone would go for it. And uh, I really like, like the way he played it. It's, it's, it's really, really, really great play again. He's, he's aware of his, his own image. You know, he's, he's, he's perceived like a crazy player. Sometimes he's, he's blasting it off and then he's capable of going for very, very thin values where some players wouldn't find the river. All right, got, got a thousand on. We're gonna make a keyword for the giveaway today, guys. Remember to type in the chat if you, I will give you the keyword, hit the thumbs up. That's part of the giveaway. And it's gonna be, uh, let's do Bahamas, Roman, and then enter your GG poker username. And that's gonna be the, the that's going to be the giveaway today. We're going to put Bahamas, Roman. I hope you guys make it to the Bahamas for the WSOP. And let's see. Enter. GG Poker username. If you don't have a GG Poker username, you can give it to a friend, put their username. And that's it. GG Poker, or sorry, Bahamas space Roman space GG poker username that is the giveaway today good luck it's gonna be either 50 or 100 dollars. let's see who are my guys i have pablo in space so it's about 50 50 right now in chips we're pretty even 9 million 8.7 million and it's gonna either be 50 dollars if archer wins it'll be 100 if space or pablo win and that will be eligible by you guys typing in bahamas space roman space your gg poker username and you must hit the th the the, the uh Thumbs up, 160 so far, we've got a thousand on. It's not a great ratio. If you like Misha stopping by, hit the thumbs up. We got a guest today, possibly. We, it was either you or Antonio coming on as a guest. I'm gonna try to get Antonio. Okay, get him before he starts. See if Estandiari will pop in. He's uh, he's been a guest on the show before. I kind of I told him, yeah, come on, be a commentator for the thing, and and we I was at his house, and then he did it, and then it ended up being like the longest show I think it's ever been. <laughs> it was like three and a half or four hours or something. He was like, are you kidding me? I was like, I mean. <laughs> But I said you're a better poker player for it now because he's 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 uh, he's less GTO, more more street poker. So this was good for him to see some of the current crushers what they're doing out there. And this is again just that Arthur man. This guy I, he's dangerous. He scares me. David Yan scares me. There's certain people I'm I'm willing to say I don't like to be around at the table. I just feel like they're just the second it's close, they're like 150 percent potting you on the turn making you play with like a weak top pair and putting you to the test. And they just, they just seem to know is Pablo's going to stick on here, although they're tying and out of position. So big advantage again for Arthur here, right? They're literally tying and he's dictating and controlling the pot. I guess they may both going to try to take it to show on this point. I mean, what is JS? So, like, I guess Archer's probably thinking now, what do I lose to? And I'm well, kind of interesting. Yeah, he just goes for a little value. I guess that's going to get chopped probably for the siding. 
Yeah. 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 Interesting tournament. I think. I think he might. You might. You might even get called by by King High occasionally. Yeah. But uh, all you can actually make fault some Ace High, some of the chops. So you might actually be a very good bet. A little bit more that. like street street poker bet on the river, I would say. Of like exploit. So that Queen Six hand was sick. That was yeah. very sick. I, I'm shocked that call too. Like I guess it's sort of the same, right? Jack ten or uh Jack four there in a way, but it's it's still pretty light. Yeah, he was he was for sure leveling himself a little bit. You know, he's you see Arthur going going very crazy and, and uh just uh, you know it was, it was for him, you know. He was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done with this. I don't believe you. And you either have it or you don't. So I guess I guess that's what he was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, a couple suited nice hands. Deuces. Space in the small blind. Space is thinking about a title. He's had a lot of final tables, a lot of close calls, and he knows it's tough here. He's battling 10 GG million title between the two, Pablo and Arthur, can he get his? He's got a stack to compete right now. I mean, it's really wide open. That is a good flop for Pablo. 118 to one to flop a flush. Less than 1% chance and he does it. Board pairs, no longer the nuts. Deuce is actually, eight or deuce would win. Queen six is also finds it's gonna be hard for for Pablo to get any value on this one. Yeah. Big bet. Takes it down. All right. So even and out. Everything. Four point seven. Four point eight. Eight point five. And anyone's game. Right now, Archer, the the favorite though, has to be most titles, most experience and. Most chips right now. Pablo, though, no slouch himself. Plays a great brand of poker and knows his way around as well. The big live high stakes tournaments. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it's really evened out, right? Three handed, like the, it would look like it could just be a run over, maybe even like two. Now it's sort of three handed. Everyone's got chips. And what, how are we time wise? We started at, so it's two, three, 22 from. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, this has been a fairly quick one so far. Ooh. Look at the discipline, a seven, three handed, check checks it back. What are the considerations there for Pablo to not, to not raise a seven versus check? I mean, uh, he's playing, he's playing quite cautious and, uh, he probably knows that spice is, is, is more on the tire side a little bit. So. Not sure if it's worth bumping up pot with this with this kind of hand. Uh, it's kind of medium medium sort of hand, and uh, he still has quite quite ICM in the in the three handed, especially if Pablo and Spice are both kind of the same stack, and uh, and Arthur is basically uh, having like double than uh, than Pablo, you know. So he uh, he can pressure on both of them and. You know, getting to the second for both of these guys is quite valuable when they have the same amount of chips. So it's it's very good for them to play kind of like uh, I would say like you, you kind of want to the other guy to get stacked by Arthur. You know, that's that's kind of the goal. Or you play against each other with like strong hands. Yeah. Uh, so. It's kind of like how 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 I how I feel it. Yeah, space top pair top kicker queen jack for Pablo doesn't look like much. Does have a key key club, but not going to be too interested here. It'd be pretty high tech to be floating and trying to. Wow, wow, he does. Believe him. Well, is it that? But more so, maybe he's just playing to bluff a club. And the hand right before this, he limps ace queen. Yes, 
His his spectre club, spectre club, spectre straights. You know he can he can get there on a good turn. The six six turn is not not too appealing, unfortunately, for Pablo and needs to let this one go. But you know, ten in clubs, eight in clubs, king clubs, even they uh, they're they're quite favorable hands for for his his holding. So uh, let's see if he's gonna just show it all in here. Or if he's gonna go more for like call or fold even. I think he might shove. So is this like 30, 20, 25, 30 bigs? So uh pretty yeah, might be, might, might be even fold. Yeah. This is interesting. Exactly. Pablo understands the, the ICM implications in this scenario where where Spice can still uh, lose a lot of chips versus Arthur and he can let her up, which would be very valuable for him. How much is third place? Uh, it's off the bottom of the screen there. 357 for first. Let me just take a look on the. I can't see it on my. Actually, hold on. I'll tell you. It's 220 for, for third and 280 for second. So it's 60,000. Uh, a jump and 357 for first place yeah so then a uh, big big match for first second too no no deal making in the g g millions take a look tweet this I come back and be with Antonio. If not, it was a pleasure. Yes. Nice yes. meeting you, Roman. Yeah. Nice Thanks. meeting you. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, of be, course. You'll be seeing Misha on a future show when he takes down some. He's, <laughs> he's up and coming. It's, it's true. We're coming in here. So yeah, we're uh, we're we're gonna play to a winner. It's gonna be we're at home. One sec, guys. Where are you going, surfing? We're gonna be right right in the front. It's at two. I don't think Joseph is coming with us. So. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we can get to work here. Trying to trying to get a little surfing down here, man. We're we're on vacation, but this is GG Million time, and I, I'm I'm taking soaking up the knowledge. And this could be over in a second. You never know. Like, we haven't really seen a crazy ending. We haven't seen like aces kings, you know, or queens jacks nines or queens jacks ace king, like some kind of crazy three away all in. You see it. It happens live once in a while. You see these like crazy ends for main events where it's like massive hands here but again these guys are not afraid and we are seeing a little bit of caution right here that all of a sudden king queen ace nine wow no uh no raise with king queen uh, there might be a lot of damage by arthur here for sure Pablo is going straight for value with face nine and arthur might even consider raising with this hand you know he kind of under wrapped his hand quite a lot there we go he just pump it up right away Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty bricky turn. I mean, definitely Pablo could get carved up here. For sure, too. Pretty hard for Pablo to let it go on the turn, this one. Pretty, pretty big pot, but let's see if Pablo is going to believe Arthur on this one. Yeah, I mean, he calls here. It's a, it's essentially, I mean, this run out is bricky as it gets. And I mean, wow, his SPR is like 0.6 or something or whatever happens. It's, it's, I guess, though, there's something to be said. If he falls through the third shell in the spot, maybe, maybe he will fold. But. Let's see. Let's see what is Pablo going to do here in the river. It's not an easy decision, but wouldn't be surprised if he goes it down. Again, Arthur knows his image. Pablo knows him as well. They play a lot together, so I wouldn't surprise. I mean, look look at that fanned out lot matchup card. 2022, that was the number one and number four ranked players in the GG Millions. I mean, these guys, yeah, talk about knowing each other, how many titles, how many how many caches. Look at the GG earnings, 34 million, 
coming up to 10 million for Pablo. These are two Titans and so much history. There's so much going on here. And Pablo, I mean, you can't, couldn't argue for him to call. He just saw Arthur get the value with the top pair. And this is even this, I mean, this time it's, he's got a strong top pair and then what a brick run out. Like what, what considerations with Pablo thinking about right now? Like how much does it matter to have a club for backdoor clubs that miss, or, you know, you don't block, you don't have a 10 Jack King. These things are all kind of not the kind of favor to call. Yeah, it's, it's really hard. Like, uh, I mean, Ace is actually, I guess, kind of, kind of decent card to have it's like Arthur is obviously not having a screen but like in terms of blocker like it's yeah wow. he calls it down it's not really like uh, the, the, the ranges are quite wide in BVB situations Arthur can be going a little bit banana sometimes on him as well so uh, but he, he just has it again GG so. Brazilian 220,000 it's over a million reais coming home for Pablo right there. That is a, a decent score. And Archer now with up top, the chip lead, about two to one lead. And we got we got a dinner on the line. You have a two to one lead. I, I got to say, I am, I like your chances. Space though, man, I've, I've been rooting for you, bro. You've had a lot of good scores. You're in there. The audience is going to get an extra 50 for the giveaway if it can be space. So audience is rooting for space. Arthur's won a lot of titles and we have a pin tweet right now on Jeff Pro's poker for $50 cash. The hands up. Good luck to all those that entered the, the hand. Uh, guess I said ace of clubs, eight of spades. I think you said Jack uh, of clubs, eight of club spades or Jack of clubs, eight of spades is your guess. Yeah. And at home, everyone that is guessing good luck as we will play to a winner. 6.7 to 11 million. A little first First hand for space, saying good luck to Arthur. Two fives here, ace, deuce. And actually, somehow this were to get a lot of money in three, that'd be good for a space. But they're deep. Don't think that's going to be the case. But it starts with the raise. Arthur calls. Fives in the lead. All right, I got to queue up this giveaway, guys. Again, keyword, Bahamas space Roman space your GG poker username. That is a live giveaway. And we will get that. We'll get that sorted through. Two five still betting. And fives feeling pretty good, right? You got two fives in your hand. That's a straight. Think about the size in here. Got effectively the nuts, really the nuts, right? You'd have to, you probably have to have five eight when you have a five and your heads up poker. And that is just going to take it down. Ace high does not call. Roman, are you nervous for the dinner wager? I mean, this is all you can ask for. It's like a mano y mano. We're here. We're we're. I mean, um, I'm good. I'm confident in the in the Russian ability. You know, ah, well, they're both Russian, so never mind. But I guess Arthur. Uh, I'm confident in Arthur ability. So uh, I hope he's going to take it down and we're going to have a little double double dinner. Oh, well, I'm excited for that. Well, now, now Spice is picking up some, some very good, very good cards. So, uh, makes it straight. The nuts at the moment, double flush board, two tone. So he is going to go ahead and raise. Makes sense, right? He's got, got, uh, yeah, he's got, dude, he's got a raise here. And Arthur thinking about what to do as a pair, considering his options. And look at those results. First and 29 for Arthur in, in the GG million seasons and 12th and 26. Pretty impressive from space to yeah. finish in the top 25 effectively the last two seasons. So, I mean, he's now off and running and looking for his first GG million title today. Bit of an underdog, probably just in terms of whatever, but he's narrowing the gap in terms of skill. Or I'm sorry, in, in ter he's narrowing the gap in terms of chips right now. Started out with two to one and now it's tightening up and he's got another decent situation here although nothing for archer to call with just going to take it down heads up poker anything can happen roman don't think don't count don't start looking at yelp and and restaurants new openings and in, in places yeah i'm telling you this isn't over yet don't don't be checking out the new spots the hot spots i'm uh i'm I'm not ready to concede here yet. And he is, he is just, he's just chipping away here. 8 million all of a sudden. 
Yeah, I know. Arthur, Arthur is a... Uh... No, everything can happen. You know, he play one hand a little bit more aggressively and uh, runs into the nuts or something. It can be over right away. So, um, let's see. Let's see how it's going to go. Or succeeded. Pretty nice hand probably to raise it up. Let's see. Let's see what, what kind of sizing is he going to use. I'm just for sure some bets are gonna go in. Yeah, both making a pair. So hard to make a pair and hold them. We say that all the time. It's true. Man, I got I got these delicious shrimp tacos looking at me here. I haven't eaten it a a good way <laughs> so far. Sitting here surfing in tacos and poker. What a day today. Hope everyone has a nice Thanksgiving in the u.s i guess that's not a worldwide holiday but thanksgiving any anyone out there in north america hope you have a nice time bahamas coming up around the corner that's the key word today bahamas space roman space your gg poker username we in the bahamas please say hi for there we'll be doing a live show from the bahamas and i think next week actually mario masbach is going to be our, our guest as well and then david yang coming up so some power we got some real guests roman this is like this is that's part of the the, the lore of the gg millions every week you know we got we got great guests including this week again appreciate your time and let us know where can people watch where can they follow along with you what's your what's your most active socials that people can check you check in with you well i don't i don't use too many social medias i use uh basically just instagram but uh to be honest, my girlfriend is more active than me, and I'm like she's just like tagging me all the time, so I just tag her, tag very often. But I don't use I don't use uh, Twitter too much. Should probably use that a little bit more often, but but I don't really do that. Well, if you want to follow me on uh, on Instagram, you can do that. Obviously, I have the same name, Roman Hobbits. So uh, feel free to do that. we will be happy to 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 share something with you. But I'm I'm not very active there sometimes. I'm doing some, uh, just just some you know casual casual thing, and uh, yeah, my 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 girlfriend is definitely more uh, more into this social media and all the stories and stuff like that. She she loves it, and then she's she's also doing it for uh, for a job. So uh, feel free to follow her as well. She's has some some great uh, great stuff going on. Great stories. So, Monica Zhukov. Hey, Monia. I think she's on on Instagram. So, yeah, yeah. She is. She does some great content. Some some fun stuff. Some some. Uh, I, I like her. I do. I like her stories and her posts. She does some some comedy stuff too. And she's uh, she definitely knows her way with the the poker. And we we did invite her. I think we pegged her down for a guest coming up here. I'd love to have her on coming up. She definitely <laughs> knows the stuff. A nice hand yeah. there. Back ten gonna get called ace high, good run out, yeah. makes the ball paid, and we are we are even Steven here. It is anyone. Is this chipped up a little bit? Yeah, it's very good for him. <laughs> I just I just see her cheering up in the next room that she she was uh, probably hearing the the commentary. So uh, yeah. you know she probably listened to the invite. You know, so she's like now thinking, oh, he's gonna invite me. So. Yes, no, he might no. shoot. She she might shoot you a message, you know. So we have heard of that. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta have we gotta have Monica on. Also, anyone like I, I'll say this: it's it's been cool because a lot of people now asking to come on for a while. Like I started doing the show, and it's like you know you got to reach out. Now there's a lot of people looking to come on. It is fun, and again, it's like a it's like a forced study session in a way, you know, because it is high level poker. It's fun. Some of these take they can be three three and a half hours, but today a little been a little shorter so far than normal and this is again could be over in one hand or it could go for a while but we've uh, i've enjoyed it saw some really cool cool hands today there was a lot of a lot of interesting spots Let's see what the spies are gonna do here big size from arthur what well, is jack still can be winning you can see that arthur is betting with a jack blocker as it cannot really fall and wow. now here is a deuce wow so that is a wild wild deal Actually, I'm curious if he's gonna start turning a hand into a bluff on the river with a pair deuce or a flush gets there. Spice could have a flush, so it's kind of dangerous too. And he he can still win sometimes, but not very likely. Probably only like 
some ace jacks or king eggs in spades, ace jacks, ace jack, and he he decides to turn this into bluff, and uh, I guess it's very hard for spies actually to call with his actual hand. So it's a great point, you know that that's a, the, you talk about showdown value and relative showdown value. In that particular case, it's so rare. There's like almost no hands where like that deuce actually matters. So it's like you know some you might see players check back or whatever but like he just just to understand again where he's at what he's representing that most of the time he's going to need to bluff his way out of that and he does fire there and picks it up but but yeah he happened to have the best hand that was a that was a pretty crazy run out could have been really yeah. there was a couple of cards there space could have got all of it right i mean there was a there was the straight coming home that that would have made him the top straight the king i believe would have been for sure uh, for sure but it, but, it, but also, you say, oh, a deuce hit, how lucky. But, like, that's the thing. He was bluffing a lot of cards, right? He was not. Just, yeah. Like, yeah. He, he hit the deuce, but he didn't end up not needing it because it was kind of irrelevant. He still bluffed, still bet, and uh, was bluffing. And would have worked. Yeah, I, I, I think if if, if the if it wasn't like, a, you know, flushing, flushing a river, he might end up uh, maybe just checking it out because he beat some of the flush draws. But... Uh, he ends up, uh, yeah, he ends up bluffing it anyway. He just like check high, pretty big hand. So this is a curious spot because big bet now space with the key heart here. I mean, he's got to be thinking, kind of, right? Bluff when you're it, yeah. yeah, I mean the board's paired though. So how and then it's heads up poker. But if you had enough flush, you would feel very good. So like, yeah, he just gets out of the way. I guess sort of uh, ends up being a good fold, right? Recognize that wouldn't work. Whatever he was gonna do. Very, very disciplined. Yeah, Spice was playing disciplined poker, trying to do some crazy stuff against Arthur. And Arthur is just, you know, bluffing it off, making the chips of the bluffs more. <laughs> and then when he when he has it, you know, he gets paid off. And he's bluffing, he doesn't get called. So pretty good for him. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a nice, nice uh, construction of his of, of that situation. And even there, right, A7 heads up just gets away comfortably for a three bet just doesn't even think about it you yeah. know just kind of knows where he's at what what hands to play what way and now here he is in a, another good spot and jack seven suited this one actually does get away quickly got some playability in position size was a little bit priced out but but yeah arts are back with the separation Again, Bahamas, Space Roman, Space, your GG Poker username. It's going to be 50 or $100. I'm going to pick a winner here very soon because it can be over in one blink of an eye. Well, there we go. One of the interesting hands, which could end it all. Let's see if Spice is going to go for... A pre bet or just a call? I think both options are available. See what's Archer gonna do if he's gonna click it back or just just call. He goes for a for a four bet. Yeah, we are still yeah, he does. He does click it up. I mean, this is this is a lot of hand here. This is a lot of hand. Space does call, and wow, this could be it for sure. I'm gonna announce the winner here just in case. We this is the last hand. I mean, it's hard to imagine this. This is not gonna get in, right? The two overs flush draw aces like this. They're gonna see five here. I I I, I think there's like always oh, getting in here on this flop, but uh, unless Spice is gonna decide just to call and. But that's that's probably unlikely. Let's see here. It's, I'm just picking the winner, and it is going to be Adina, A D I N A. Let me get your name, and we will get you a ticket. We'll see if it's going to be fifty or hundred dollars. So Adina, you are the contestant that won. Congrats to you. Your name is Kale four twenty, and at the again, it could be, it could either be 
We're going to see here in a second if he can hold aces to king jack suited. It is a trying dead. Arthur is your champion. Dinner for Roman. $50 <laughs> giveaway for Adina there in the chat. And Arthur, that is a title. I mean, this guy is absolutely out of control. And look at that. Look at that uh, avatar for uh, uh, Thoreau, right? The, the the French businessman who's a, it actually has a great, great, uh, great resume himself there with that police shirt. That's an amazing photo. And what a what an absolute, absolute epic day. What do, Roman takeaways for for today? What were your thoughts on on the final table? I'm impressed. Uh, Arthur played very well. He he showed really that he deserves to win. And then he's at the top, one of the best players in the world. And you can see he came with the chip lead and lost a little bit but came back in again and just like did a grind 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 and just played impressive really great wow. and uh, he took it out the queen six show for value the 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 bluffs the the timing the tempo knowing where he's at really put on a world-class show space again impressive he's finished 12th and 26 respectively in the seasons this is the 2023 season episode 31 and he got a second place another big leaderboard push and again you, you can't go broke making a small profit you got to give credit to space for showing up we saw nine final tables i believe in season one and he just constantly kind of is there and and doesn't quite get the win but he's knocking on the door and nothing to be to sneeze at second place with some of the world's best david peters also there victor milanowski we had all the names all the hands, all the action. And again, Roman, appreciate the time and we really do appreciate it. And we'll be looking out for you again, 900K score you've had on here before, playing in the, the uh, Triton and some of the biggest events in the world and can follow along with you. And then again, you mentioned Monica, future guest on the show. Also, we those socials will uh, make sure you guys can follow along. Congrats to the winner of the giveaway. And next week we'll have Mario Masbach on as our guest and I will be seeing uh, hopefully you in Bahamas, but good luck on the qualifying and and, and if not in, in Vegas and I owe you a dinner. So congrats and I owe you 10% uh, of the free roll from that crazy spot. I'm gonna go look at my hand and mob cash. So I'll pay, well at dinner, I'll, I'll, you'll have cash and a dinner when I see you next time. All right, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate the time of you and commentary and hopefully see you in Bahamas. Awesome, well you are a true professional. You said your first time commentary, I don't believe it. I think you're at home doing commentary while you're watching streams because you, you know your stuff and we do appreciate it. And everyone at home, thank you so much. We'll see you next week on Tuesday, 145 Eastern for episode 32 with Mario Mosbach for the GG Millions. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks everyone for watching.